In this video, I'm going to show you how to open multiple windows of Microsoft Teams at once, or some people call multiple instances of Teams. What I mean by that is, for example, right now I'm on my calendar tab. However, if I want to go to uh, my activity tab, I have to leave the calendar tab to be able to do that. And if I want to go to, uh, to my Teams tab, I have to leave my activity tab. This is not very convenient, uh, especially uh, when sometimes you need to work on both windows at the same time or you need to see uh, multiple windows at the same time, then this is going to be a problem. Fortunately, there is a solution to this problem. What you need to do first is you go to Google Chrome and then you need to sign into your Microsoft Teams account online. I already bookmarked the page and I recommend you to do the same thing. So use the same account, but sign in online on the Microsoft Teams uh, web page. And then you go to ellipsis on the very uh, top right corner. Click on that, then go to more tools, then go to create shortcut and take open as window and create and you can already see you have another instance of uh, teams opened on top of this desktop version we had before now you have two uh, instances of teams and you can work on for example teams on one window and with the other one you can look at your activity or assignment and put them side by side work on them at the same time this uh, instance of uh, Microsoft Teams, you can consider it as a web app of Teams being installed locally, which works in the exactly same way as the desktop version of it. And you noticed there's also a shortcut created on your desktop, which corresponds to this uh, instance of uh, Teams you just uh, installed. So let me close that. So now you can see uh, you have this instance of Teams you just installed from the app, uh, from the web app. And you have your desktop version of Microsoft Teams. You have two instances of Microsoft Teams. If you want a third one, you just do the same thing. You go to Google Chrome and sign into your uh, Teams account and go to Ellipsis, more tools, create shortcut, open this window, create. There you have it, a third one. And you see another shortcut is created on the desktop. Uh, desktop. So let me close that. Now you have three of them. One, two, and three. Let's actually open them. So this is my uh, desktop version, original desktop version. One, and here's another one. And here's a third one. So there you have it three windows of Microsoft Teams. So you can multitask on Teams at the same time. So on one of them, you can go to your calendar tab. And this one, I'll just keep it uh, in the activity. And with this one, you can go to your Teams or your assignment, whatever you like. And if three is not enough, just open a fourth one, a fifth one there's no limit so this is one of the most helpful uh, trick i f found out about uh, microsoft teams but additionally those new instances of microsoft teams that you just installed they also have some extra features so if you notice this arrow uh, this arrow thing is actually a video uh, recorder it allows you to record uh, screen only up to five minutes 
for the free version. So if you click on that, there you have a five minute uh, video recording uh, feature. And you can also uh, have your uh, video thumbnail of yourself talking. Uh, for now, I just disabled it. And if you click on report, and you can select your entire screen or report uh, a specific application. So I just record my entire screen for now, share. And then you can record whatever on your desktop. And um, this is a really helpful feature if you want to send a quick message to your students. By the way, if you open your, uh, turn on your webcam, there's gonna be a video thumbnail of you right over, right over here, right over here. Okay. So, so after you finish recording, you can just simply click on stop sharing, and then the screen recording will be saved automatically to your Google Drive, and you can preview that as well here. So this is the recording we just did, and you can publish to YouTube or share to Google, uh, Google Classroom. So this is a pretty useful feature if you want to send a quick video message to your class. All right, so there's one more thing I want to talk about. If you are uh, on the chat tab, you can actually pop out a chat. Uh, this is the pop out chat button. So if you click on that, you can open the chat as a separate window and work on it separately. Also, if you're in a meeting, you can minimize the meeting. So those are also um, things you can do uh, for multitasking in Microsoft Teams. Feel free to check out other tutorial videos in this channel. And if you have any request, leave a comment. I'll make more tutorial videos.